welcome to Justin. Uh, we have been working together now for three days. Yes. Have a, to be honest, we have had a blast. Yeah. Could have been special in the morning, but ended up as a party in the end of the day. Absolutely, always. Justin, it's a privilege for me, it's an honor for me to work together with you. Same here. So I will hand these demos to you. Okay. As a, I know you have so many beautiful tricks you have picked up around the world. Yes. What What do we have to see today? What yeah, lesson? Yeah, the, this was an interesting one. We debuted this actually at FESPA in uh, Amsterdam yeah. in November. And it's a technique that Rap Institute we developed that we call Zero Stretch and the Rap Matrix. Mm -hmm. And I want to just do a, like a five, ten minute demo just to let it sink in for y'all because it'll really help ma make wrapping door handles and mirrors super easy. And then we'll hand it off to over to 3M where they'll talk about the new 280. Oh, can't wait to see your demo. Can't wait to see the, about everything about the IGA 280. Yes. So please, Justin, rock and roll. Awesome. Thank you, Ollie. There cool. you go. All right, so good afternoon, everyone. I'm Justin Pate from the Rap Institute. And in this demo, as I said, I want to do a quick breakdown on really understanding what the material does and how you can use it to your advantage. So uh, for years, what I've done is, uh, let's say I've been wrapping a hood, a mirror, or a door handle. What I do is I take the material, I take it off the roll, and then I just, let's say, wrap a mirror. So I take the material off the liner, place it on the mirror, and then I stretch it to get it where I want it to go. So I pull it to here and I do my thing and I do my triangles and if I need to add heat, I add heat. But otherwise, for the most part, if I stretch it in the right way and I pull the film and I glide it onto the car, I'm good. So basically by pulling it off the liner and stretching it, I think I started off at zero and I stretched it 5%, for example. And then I cut it off, and my cardinal rule when I wrap is I always want to keep the stretch of the material under 10%. If I keep it under 10%, I think the adhesive will hold the material in place. And I wrapped like that way for 25 years, and it worked pretty good. But last year, Reiner and I started playing with the film, and we realized that when I started here and I pulled the film, I wasn't starting off at zero. The material was already stretched, even though it was cast. Because we're always told that cast film isn't stretched. It starts off as liquid. That's not true. So Reiner and I, once we discovered the truth, we can play it a little different. So what I want to show is a different way of approaching the film. So for example, here, I have these rolls of 2080 from 3M, cast film. All right. How these rolls are made, this is a 22 meter roll. So when they made the roll, how they did is that the machine stretched the film during the manufacturing process. So it's, it kind of was made lengthwise. So what I want to show is right now, I take a piece, and right now, as I pull it off the liner, I know that this material was stretched left to right. And I want to show you how that is. So watch, I take the material, and in this case, I'm actually going to remove the cap sheet first just to give it a true kind of read of the material. So this particular material has a cap sheet on it, theoretically. So I pull the cap sheet off so it stretches true. And watch what I do. So as I cut it off the line right now, watch. I'm going to pull it off the liner. And I'm going to lay the backing paper on the hood right now. And I'm going to lay the piece on top. And right now it's going to match exactly what I just pulled off. So right now, if I get it right exactly in place, you don't see the liner at all. So right now, did I stretch the material? No. So theoretically, the material's at 0%. But what I want to do now is this. What Reiner and I figured out, and again, Reiner, my, Reiner's my partner at the Rap Institute, is right now I'm going to heat the film, and let's see what happens. The heat gun's at the highest setting, and when I heat the film right now, I'm not going to do this. This is what we do normally to warm the film up, but watch what I do. I'm going to take the, the heat gun, and I'm going to slowly go back and forth, and I hold the heat gun at about a 45-degree angle. And what I'm doing right now is I'm recalibrating the film. So watch, as I heat it and go back and forth, look what's happening to the film. Do you see the white edge? If I come back here, I do the same thing. So as I heat the film and I go back and forth, and again, this is premium cast vinyl from 3M, 2080, amazing material. But right now, look what happened. Can everyone see on the screen what happened? If you get a nice close-up right now, if everyone can see, Right now, after heating the film, look what happened. I can see this much of the white edge on the left and this much edge on the right. 
but it didn't really shrink much top to bottom, if it makes sense. So remember when I talked about the roll? So right now on that roll, the material shrank left to right naturally. So that tells me how much tension was still in the film. So when I pulled it off the liner, I thought, hmm, there's no tension in it, but there's actually quite a bit of tension in it. But now, how much tension's in the film? Zero. So this is what at the Rapid Suit we call zero stretch. So let's come back to this mirror demo that I did right here. So when I pull the film, look, look what you can see right here. So on the edge right now, can you see this on the camera? So right here, there's a lot of tension. Even though I didn't use heat and I pulled the film, there's a lot of tension still there. Now watch. If I take the same piece, and now that I take the piece that I just recalibrated back to zero, I pull it off the liner right here, I place it on the mirror, and now because the material is nice and relaxed, it's at room temperature, when I pull the film now, look how much easier it just breathed onto the mirror. Seriously, I pulled way less hard, and it just literally just went right onto the mirror like it was a totally different film. And all I did was recalibrate it back to zero. I'm telling you, I've been showing this in the workshops on the Wrap and Stew videos now, and all you have to do is take it back to zero and wrap the mirror in the same techniques, and it's like using a totally different material. It's really exciting, because now look how much tension's there. Nothing. What's the chance of this staying on now? So much better. I work less hard, the material stays on better, and it holds on better. So at the end of the day, I'm feeling good. The material's feeling good. Because now when I stretched here, I didn't stretch it 8%, which is what I did here. Now I stretched it 3%. And I do the same thing for door handles. Why don't you come on over here? So watch this. If I'm doing a door handle, it's really simple. Have a little simple logic in your head. I know the door handle right now, okay? I want to stretch the piece left to right. So when I cut a piece off the roll right now, what I do is I don't do this. I don't cut a piece this way and put it on the mirror because this piece is going to shrink most this way. I don't want it to shrink this way on a door handle. I want it to shrink this way. Make sense? So what I'm going to do now is, instead of cutting the door handle this way, all I do is change it. I do this. So I cut it off left to right vertical. I take the piece, and normally I just set it on the car. I'm going to pull the piece off the liner for the door handle. I'm going to set it right to here. I get it on the liner right there, and now I'm just going to take the heat gun, flip it over, and watch what I do. So before I put it on the door handle, I just take the Matisse, and I go left and right, and I just basically go very slow, kind of like a printer prints. That's it. That's zero stretch. That's all you do. All you do is take a few seconds, recalibrate the film back to zero in the length that the material is made from, and then you wrap the door handle. And I'm telling you, the door handle now is so easy to wrap because the material has basically the right amount of tension in it where I can take it to here, lock it under here, pull down to the side, lock it, come down to here. I'm telling you, the material is feeling totally different than it did before. It's soft as hell because the material now has no tension in it. So now I can bring the material. I can feed it into the mouth after pulling the corner. And again, how much, how much heat am I using right now? None, because I don't need to. Because right now, I can relax the material around the back side to here. And the material is doing what I want it to do, because why? Because I took that tension out before I put the piece on. So look what I'm doing to this piece. Look how easy it is for me to, again, this is just a demo, but look. I could wrap the door handle without heat because I took the tension out ahead of time. And it sounds super easy or simple by shrinking it ahead of time, but I'm telling you, it's a game changer. When I have this on the car, I literally hold it in position after doing zero stretch. I pick it off the car and I heat it again, and I'm literally, the material wraps the door handles for me. It's a game changer, and it's super simple because I understand the material at a deeper level now. It's pretty magical. Just, Justin, for me, when I see it from outside, it looks so easy. Yes. Uh, and when I see it, it looks like what you do here, you actually simply just respecting the film, the DNA of the film. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, so I see some manufacturers out there, and we're always told calendar film naturally shrinks by itself. And I always knew that, but I never put it together. And I was always told cast film doesn't shrink. But it does. But because you understand that both films shrink, you can use that to your advantage. All those years, if you see videos on the Rap Institute, 
the video that I did years ago at, uh, at FESPA. Yeah. I wrapped the hood, and you see me pull the film really hard, and I pull the film really hard because I thought I had to put my own energy in it to make it shrink. But I didn't realize all those years that that shrinkage was already built into the material. So now when I wrap a hood, I do this. So when I heat the film, what is the film doing? It's shrinking into the car. That's why we call the wrap matrix. It's very yeah. simple. But if I wrap a bumper now, I don't pull triangles. I pull hard this way so the material shrinks into the car. So it's a deeper level. Respecting the film. Exactly. Yeah. So for those of you watching right now, I really encourage you to go to the Wrap Institute booth over there. Because what Reiner and Patrick and Jemus are doing throughout the day is the whole show we're dedicating to zero stretch in the wrap matrix. And it works for PPF, it works for cast, and it works for calendar. It's pretty cool. Actually, Jemus for almost anything yes. you can add to a vehicle or walls, whatever. Yeah. So it's I'm really understanding that zero stretch and recalibrating the film, heating it in the right way, making it shrink, and then you wrap your mirror and your door handle and your life will be totally different. And just so you know, this, this one would be broadcasted. Yes. If you're not at the show yes. and you want to see some of your demos, yes. how can I get them? Yes. So get a membership at the Rap Institute. We call ourselves the Rap Flicks of the industry. How many videos? Over 2,500 videos, and we come out with five new videos a week. And as we're brand neutral, we work with all brands. We work with anyone from, let's say, 3M, Hexus, Arlon, Avery. Uh, we also work with a lot of PPF manufacturers, mm -hmm. and we're agnostic. So we're pretty cool. And more to come, actually, because yeah. you're brand neutral. Yeah, and a membership is cheaper than Netflix. It's uh, around $8 a month, so it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend doing that. But again, I uh, love doing these demos, and I appreciate the time. Thank you, Justin, again, for being a judge, doing a brilliant demo again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you me. so much. The thing is, we have to head over to 3M. Let's do it. And the 3M guys are ready. Okay. So I'll walk over there Enjoy. with my camera team. Thank you again, Justin. Thank you, Hey, sir. give Justin a hand. Thank you. Thank you, guys.